guys? It's Jordan, back with another video. <clears throat> and today, <clears throat> you guessed it, Randy, can you fucking stop? Anyways, today we're going to be making some food. As you can see, this is all the ingredients laid out. We're going to be making some Danish babies. Uh, essentially, the only thing that we don't have here is a blender. We're following a recipe online. I'll link it in the description. But we don't have a blender, so what we're going to do is when we have to mix the flour, the eggs, and milk, we're going to mix it in here and throw that in the oven because we don't have a cast iron skillet, so that shouldn't work. Um, so that's the only exception in this. And then we're also adding a little bit because when you, if you check out the original recipe, they don't put anything in the actual batter. I am because I want that, that nice, flavorful batter. Okay. First step to making this Danish baby is to cut some sausage, one that's gonna go in a skillet for on top of it, and another one that's gonna go in the batter. Um, you can cook this first if you want, it doesn't matter because that's gonna be heated in the oven for 20 minutes later. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and cut both sausages and this meat, and this butter here is for the skillet later for this sausage, and in there, cause uh, in the batter, cause it requires some butter. So go ahead and cut. Next step is to make the batter. So I have the homie Randy off on the back, gonna tell me how much I have to put in the batter. So let's hear it, buddy. All right, you're gonna put a third of a cup of bulk Italian sausage. We're using hot links. Three eggs at room temperature, we are using four. Wait, wait. I wanna put the butter in there first. So so melt on the meat and give it the flavor. I'm gonna put the, this at the bottom as well. So when I put it in the liquid, it'll form around it instead of forming on top of it. And obviously this isn't much uh, meat and stuff, but that's all right. Because we have meat for the top too. You might actually want to add more meat. If you don't think this is enough meat for yours, I don't know how big you want to make it or whatever you want to do. But for us, this is fine. These big ass cuts, dude. <laughs> I'm just making fun of you, Randy. Okay. Um, so we got the sausage, we got the butter. What else do I need in there? You need two thirds cup of whole milk at room temperature. Two thirds cup, so how much? Let's see. That's about it right there. Uh, I don't have measuring cups, so what I did is I judged it and I barely just filled the very bottom of it. Just barely. Um, and it's hard to tip because you can see. All right, what do we need next? You need two-thirds cup of all-purpose flour. Two-thirds cup. Okay, well, so don't put an entire layer of flour in there, but just put, like, flour's pretty nasty. Just put, so you want this to rise, so definitely get it on the edges, and just, like, I know this kind of looks weird. We're actually supposed to be mixing this, so it doesn't even matter that we're making it look like this, because we have to mix it anyway. So that's about it. Uh, that was just a layer. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see it. It's just a layer on top. Okay, so we have the we have the flour in there. Now we need eggs. Yes. Uh, it says three eggs, but I'm putting four eggs in there, just because I'm not measuring it right. So I want to be on. Oh, up, rip. 
I want to be safe on like how much we put in there. Nice egg in there. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up, and then we'll cut to cooking. Alrighty. Go ahead and put that in the oven, my boys. Careful, cause it's at 425 degrees. Please. Oh, oh, you're gonna trigger me. Turn that to its side. Yeah, like that. Alrighty, guys. So it's actually been about uh, 45 minutes to an hour. Actually, I don't know the exact time. So 45 to an hour to cook this to rise that much. Put that cheese on there, just like that. Catch me outside. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? Nice and easy like that. So now, see, I don't know about y'all, because there's enough flavor in this already. But I'm just gonna throw some pepper on there. And not much, not much at all, but some sea salt. Like that much. <clears throat> Take this, we're gonna let this cook for about three, five minutes. Once that's done, I'll bring it back. Alrighty, it's been about five minutes here and our meat is done. The top, there we go. Then, because I'm fat and we want this to be non-healthy as, as F, I wanna put that on there like that and put this in the oven for three minutes. Alrighty guys. There you have it. Our Danish baby is done. This is probably the most unhealthiest breakfast of all damn time, but you know what? We ain't in it to win it. We're in it to gain some fucking weight. Yeah! yeah. Three, two, one. I like the bread. really good on the breading. You can taste the hot wing. You can taste the cheese. And it kind of tastes like hash brown in a way. Mm -hmm. Remember how you put all that cilantro in there? You didn't yeah. even taste it. I told you you couldn't taste it. That's really good. Mm -hmm. Let me get some 5150. A fact that you didn't know about your boy Randy. I do not like cilantro. Can't stand it. And I'm a master chef. Huh? Got it. Well, guys, it's been fun cooking with needles. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next one. That being said, peace. Yeah.